If you want to do text generation with Amazon Bedrock, then I would suggest you try out AI21's Jurassic 2 Ultra Large Language Model. This AI21 large language models are quite good. For instance, this Jurassic 2 Ultra model, which was formerly called as Jumbo Instruct, is a top of the line LLM and you can deploy it privately within your own VPC and use it with the help of Amazon Bedrock. You can use this Jurassic 2 Ultra to any complex language generation tasks such as question answering, summarization, long form copy generation, advanced information extraction, and a lot of other use cases. And it is not just confined to English. You can use it for Spanish, French, German, Portuguese, Italian, and Dutch. This Jurassic 2 Ultra model is optimized to follow natural language instructions and context. So you don't have to provide it any other example. It is also pre-trained on um, a corpus of web text, including natural language and computer programs with recent data. It has been also updated since mid-2022, which is, you might feel a bit older, but uh, still it is quite good considering the age of this model. This model has a 8192 token context window, which is primarily the length of the prompt, prompt plus completion. And then uh, lastly, Stanford's HEM benchmark ranks Jurassic 2 Ultra among the top LLM models. Okay, now in this video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to use this Jurassic 2 model with Amazon Bedrock API using Boto3. In order to get started, you must have AWS CLI and Boto3 installed and make sure that you are using the latest version of both AWS CLI and Boto3. And you already have set up your environment variable with your AWS account credentials. Now in this code, first I am importing the Boto3 library, then I am getting the Boto3 client. Now here is one catch, make sure that the service name is bedrock dash runtime and not just bedrock, otherwise it won't work. If you just want to list the models and stuff, then you can use bedrock. But if you want to do the text generation and do use some model, you need to use this service name, which is bedrock dash runtime. Why that is the case? To be honest, I have no idea. You have to ask AWS. Okay, then I'm giving a, uh, here the model ID, which is this uh, AI21 Jurassic 2 Ultra version one. And then I'm setting up the format, which is ac acceptable for this content type. And these two are for this JSON dumps function, because this is what I'm going to give it. And then I'm using some of the parameters that the max token I'm going to use 200 temperature, which lists down the randomness of the response. And if you just set it to one, it could be really um, zany and creative, but if you just set it to zero, it will always be the same response or deterministic response. And then I am setting the top probability to one, which in very simple words sets up the probability of the top tokens in the output. And I have another video where I explain in great detail about these hyperparameters and you can search it on my channel. And if you can't find it, let me know and I'll put it in the comments. Cool. Now in the next step, all I'm doing it, I'm invoking this model by sending it the model ID, the body. And if you look at this body, one thing I forgot to mention that I'm also giving it a prompt, which is very simple, but is the capital of Australia. You can put it anything here. And then from there, uh, once I have invoked the model, I'm getting the response back. And then I am, because it is simply a completion where the model is, um, predicting the next word. So it is completing what I'm asking and then I'm printing it out. So let's run it. So remember the prompt which I'm giving it or the question I'm asking this LLM is, what is the capital of Australia? Now let me run it. By text gen, this is the program name. Let's wait, very quick. You can see it has guessed it very correctly. Now let me ask it, something more obscure, what is the capital of Tonga? Tonga is a small Pacific island near Australia. And when we say near Australia, it means like six or flight. Um, so very correct, this is cool. Now let's move away from geography and go something else. Maybe I'll ask it right now, Python program to add two numbers and also comment 
each line of program let's see what happens saving it let me clear my screen i'll just make it a bit bigger okay there you go let's see what happens this time just taking a bit of a time okay now you can see that it has defined these two numbers it is adding these two numbers and then printing it and yes it has commented all the lines not only that but at the end it is also giving us the synopsis of this whole program now let me ask it a bit more hard, sort of a hard question could you give me steps to renovate a bathroom please also specify cost in australian dollars for each step let's see let me run it so what i'm expecting is that it is going to give me the steps and with every step it will give me the dollar figure now you can see that it has given me the steps demolition this is a cost plumbing this is a cost electric and this is a cost very cool let me also ask you to total it and at the end give me total cost let's see if it works or not Let's wait for it. Uh, okay, so, and you can see that um, because that randomness is quite high, so the response is totally different this time. Still, and the cost is way off to it, nowhere near the previous one. So maybe I will just say, it, I'll reduce the randomness to 0.2 and clear. Let's see what it does this time. Cool. And you can see that it has given me the steps with the cost with each step and then total cost here. And um, on a side note, this is way off. I mean, the real cost is nowhere near this. It is 10 times more, not 10 times, 5 times or 6 times more than this. Anyway, but the point is that it has correctly given me the answer which I was asking it. Uh, accuracy of the answer, another topic for another time but you can see that how easy it is to do the text generation with amazon bedrock by simple using this photo 3 now you can embed it in your lambda functions you can uh, create um, you know you can integrate it with a lot of any other aws service you can privately deploy it in your own vpc and expose it to your own organization and then you can do a lot of things with it so this is it guys, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.